Now today we're going to talk about air source heat pumps and radiators. Now most of us in the UK we actually heat our homes by using radiators attached to a gas boiler system. And one of the questions that normally comes up if householders are thinking about changing to an air source heat pump system is can I keep my radiators and use them with my new air source heat pump? Now like a lot of things in life the answer is possibly but it depends. So let's dive straight into it and see what the situation is. So as we know, and we've spoken about already here on the channel, a gas boiler will run at a much higher flow temperature than an air source heat pump. So typically an air source heat pump is gonna run at about 40, 50 degrees centigrade, whereas a gas boiler will run at about 60 or 70 degrees centigrade. So what this means is, because the water in the system is much less hot, you're gonna need more radiator output to get your house to a nice toasty temperature that you're used to if you're running a gas boiler. Now, what types of radiators work well with air source heat pumps? Well, generally speaking, the ones we all know and love, your cast iron radiators or your steel radiators are generally not the best choice. They are not as effective as modern radiators. The best radiators to go for are aluminum radiators. Now they warm up the room, they transmit heat very quickly and very efficiently, and they work beautifully with air source heat pumps. Now the good news is there's loads of great designs around, so you're bound to be able to find something that really fits with your taste and what you like in your home. As a rule of thumb, you really wanna stay away from your single panel radiators and go for a double panel or triple panel radiator to get the most from it and from your new air source heat pump system. Now what many people don't know is that uh, heating engineers often over-specify the radiators that are required when they're putting in gas central heating systems. So even though you have a gas central heating system, if you have radiators that were installed fairly recently, you may find you've actually got enough radiator power to cope with an air source heat pump system. So it's important to really get those services of an HVAC engineer in understanding what you have in your home currently to figure out what you are going to need. If you really don't want to replace the radiators, there are a few options. One option might be to go for a high powered air source heat pump system. Now these are a bit more expensive than your typical air source heat pump, but they do work at a flow temperature which is much closer to a gas boiler, so closer to that 60, 70 degrees, in which case your existing radiators may well work for you after all. Now the important thing to remember is if you are replacing an air source heat pump, it's really important to look at the insulation in your home, especially if you live in an older home. We've done other videos on this and we have a lot more information on the website about it, but you will need to look at your windows and doors, your external walls and your loft insulation to make sure that all the heat that's generated in your house is kept within your house and is not lost to the outside air. Now guys, if you wanna find out more about air source heat pumps and radiators or underfloor heating or insulation, please do go to our website, www.weloveheatpumps.com. We've got loads of fantastic information on there, all about air source heat pumps. If you like this video, please do smash the subscribe button. It really helps us to get the word out there. We'd also love to know what you think, so please do leave a comment below. And in the meantime, we'll see you on the next video.